Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What we're going to do today is we had a casualty here. The tree fell and broke all the tile here and it also destroyed this wall. I got up here yesterday and I took a look at this wall. Uh, this wall has got a big hole here. So I give the homeowner many options what she could do. She could hire a tile guy and he can come over here. However, there's no wood left in this um, wall here to attach the tile. I explained that we could put a piece of flashing here. One piece, a sleeve, but then you'll see the, the tile going down here. As I was driving home, I thought, well, you know what I can do is I can just put a piece of grace membrane over here, put some wire, put some cement, and give it a little arch. And then it can be painted, and that way water won't set on it. But this wall, there's no repair in this wall. If I, later, when we get to that stage, we're going to go ahead and show you down in here. There's nothing. This whole wall is supported only by stucco. There is no wood left in this wall. So I come to a conclusion that it's best just to wire it again and, and put a slope on it. And she realizes because I informed her, there's nothing left of this wall here. I also told her, you know, it could be worse. This could be a wall that's connected to your living room or dining room. And when it gets wet, the water accumulates and then your molds inside your house uh, mushroom a little bit and they, they get all that mold and fungus. This being an outside wall connected with this, there's nothing left, there's no wood, so it's, it's deteriorated. Now I told her we could just do a temporary fix for a few hundred bucks. I told her what she could also do is tear the whole thing off. She's looking at anywhere between, I don't know, with carpenters and it, all guys fixing five, six, seven thousand dollars, I have no idea. But I give her all the options of flashing, tile guide. She said, well, Kirk, gee whiz, I want you to go ahead and stucco it just like you said. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys, number of ways to repair this. One way is to put a flashing cap on it. Another way is to get more tile and redo the tile. The only problem with the tile is you cannot nail into this because there's no wood left. And how do I know that? Because I can see inside these holes here. And the only thing holding this wall up is the actual stucco. No problem. I give her a number of scenarios which would, what we can do. She doesn't want to go with the towel guy or the flashing concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean all this stuff off. I'm just going to take it, get rid of it, and then we're going to um, put a piece of uh, grace membrane over this, wire on top of that, and put a little cap. And that way the water well, will be diverted. Not that the water is going to hurt this any because it's, it's pretty far gone. So. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get started. I'm going to probably take it up to about where this uh, wire is. Uh, right about up to where this, this right. is right here. All right, guys. We got all this stuff off. Now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, membrane on this. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I, I found one piece that I was able to compromise with and shove it under here. That way, when you look at the front of this, it blends in. Of course, my stuff is not going to be red, it's going to be gray, but I'm going to Sikaflex polyurethane this guy in here, and the transition will have just a small hump here. So that's where we're going with this. I'll show you when we're finally at that stage. Okay, guys, we're at the next stage. I'm going to put a little bit of grace here, cut it off, put this wire directly over it. And yeah, there's nothing to tie into, but that's okay. I'll put another, uh, a couple little concrete nails in here and it's just going to be kind of for looks because there's no wood left in here but the concrete nails in itself will hold it and we're just going to put a little arch here that way the water doesn't stay up on here and we're going to be done all right guys now they got the grace membrane on top here and the wire on that the grace is going under this tile it's more of a band-aid what i'm doing because there's no wood under here but it gives the best for longevity of what you can do here they're going to fix this at a later time when money allows. And so what I'm doing now is I'm putting the cement up here. And then I'm going to give it a little arch, which will take me about 15 minutes at this stage. And remember, this is not a permanent fix. Uh, permanent fix would be to remove all this and re wooded so they're not going that route so now I'm going to get, go ahead and give this an arch and I'm going to fish that tile back in and I'm going to pack it with cement we did find one good tile that we could use so 
we're going to use it. And right now, guys, all I'm doing is floating this out. Now, it's a lot better idea than putting flashing where the flashing goes down to here because this corner would be a wicked looking corner, even when you painted it. So this here, another coat of paint on it when they paint the house. Um, it's going to come out pretty good. And we've got various cracks throughout the house, and they've asked me, well, gee, how much to do the rest of the cracks? And so what I said is, well, you're looking at a few hundred bucks for this. I'll do the cracks for nothing because I can't guarantee any of it. The roofs are... They've seen better days, the parapet. So we're just going to go ahead and caulk some of the cracks throughout the house, finish this up, and we're going to get out of here. Anyway, uh, my name is Kirk. I am with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.